Okay, so I just made a video, uh, which I'm uploading now, called I'm No Angel. Um, I'm going to make it sound like it's this big dramatic piece. It's called I'm No Angel. It's my greatest work. But it's a video talking about how um, I watched a video myself and I was made aware of how I talk to my wife and how unacceptable it is and that it took me watching myself to realize I need to fix something. I got, I got to work on myself, you know. Thank God I have someone who loves me and is willing to, you know, put up with that shit until I solve it. <clears throat> so then it made me start thinking, okay, so this morning, uh, this the, the, the whole uh, episode of my wife happened yesterday. So this morning, we sit down and we're working on this project together. Laura goes out into her office. I'm in my office. I'm doing a bit of writing, doing polishing the script. I've got to leave it alone. But I'm always polishing the script, but I've got to leave it alone. And uh, she's out there looking at locations and casting and producing and various bits and pieces. And, uh, excuse me. I'm so upset. No, I'm not crying. <laughs> so uh, she's out there looking for locations. I'm working on the script. She sends me a note, right? Or she Skypes me and we may have a quick call about it. That she's not crazy about the first scene. We rewrote the first scene a few weeks ago. Uh, we actually completely changed it. And I loved the first scene. And she doesn't like it, and she's laying out the reasons of why she doesn't like it. And yesterday, I'm disagreeing with her. I fundamentally disagree with her. I think she's wrong. I think that the first scene as is is better than the way we had it before. But she thinks the other way around, right? And I realized what started came into my head is yesterday, is, is the fact that I'm very dismissive of my wife. But that doesn't mean I don't can't disagree with her. It's not just agreeing with her. And in this case, I didn't agree with her. And I realized I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do because I have probably spent so long dismissing her and maybe women in general, maybe just people in general. I don't even know. Let's not touch that yet. That I, I haven't developed the tools to have a confrontation, a creative disagreement without me resorting to my mannerisms of dismissing and belittling and, you know, and, and all of those ugly sides of my nature. So I realized I don't know what to do here because I need to say to her, I think you're wrong. I think it's better the way it is. But for some reason in that moment, because I'm so emotionally connected to this person, you're, I'm going more on instinct than intellect. And my instinct, unfortunately, as we found out yesterday, is not very good and needs to be fixed. Um, so what happened was I just stopped talking <laughs> and it looked like I was sulking and I probably was because I can't think of what other emotion it was that that is sulking because I didn't know what to do. And while I'm sulking and she's, she's laying out her reasons for wanting to change it, I'm thinking, is this the way I interact with women? Is this like, is it because I don't know any other way? Like, Am I just patronizing and if I don't get my way, I'm dismissive? Or do I belittle? I mean, fuck, I'm so glad I'm not a woman. Um, oh God, it just, it brought up a lot this morning, you know, because I disagree with her. I disagree with the note. But I need to be able to address that in a way, otherwise we're not going to be able to have creative discussions. I need to be able to dress that in a way that is open to her opinion and accepting of her opinion and is a combination of our creative force. And then I thought, maybe I don't have this school skill at all. Maybe every time that I've quote unquote won a creative argument when I'm writing video games or making video games, it's really just been the other side giving up because I'm feeling sulky or I'm looking belligerent or I won't give it up, I won't let go or whatever whatever it is right they're not buying into the idea they're just giving up on theirs right which is a horrible way to do things and then i thought this is all going on while while i'm trying while i'm in silence going what the fuck and these these thoughts are going a million miles an hour so it's not like i'm not present i'm still listening to her i'm just uh then i thought well, well maybe that's just the way discussion works maybe that's the way every single person communicates you know, and I'm focusing on creative because it's 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 clearly you can have a difference of opinion without one side being wrong. It's not like politics or or anything else. Like I can think, it, I think it should be blue. I think it should be red. Neither of those are wrong, right? So how do you decide what color it's going to be so it doesn't end up purple and this, you know, the triple-headed beast of a production? 
because I think it's better when one person drives it. Now, you can break up the duties. This person decides that, this person decides that. But, you know, even the Coen brothers, we mentioned this yesterday, the Coen brothers don't both direct. One directs. They both write, and I'm sure one of them mostly takes the lead on writing, or maybe they have perfect relationship. One produces, one directs. So we have to find a way to work together. And yesterday's discussion about what to do with the opening scene was a really good example. You know, So Laura came up with a solution, which was that we will shoot the opening scene as is, but we will shoot pickups for the succeeding scenes that rely on certain information in the opening scene. We'll, we'll do pickups. So if we get into post, we look at the first scene, it doesn't work, and she's right, we can cut it out. Very mature, very adult way <laughs> of doing it. But I was in my little hole at the point so again it's just just disarming couple of days man just being self-aware is not the pre- I, I hate being self-aware I, just, I like my old life <laughs> I don't know anyway creative discussion man it's really tough so I think what I have to do is that again I have to go talk to Laura and say I think you're right I don't think you're right about cutting the first scene but I think you're right about the solution Let's shoot it, and then let's do pickups in the script to cover in case you're right. She also didn't say it needed to be cut. She said possibly moved or cut. But, you know, the point was she was open all the way through to two ideas. And I just got frustrated, and I didn't belittle her while talking to her. But in my mind, I was diminishing her opinion. All right, it's only day one. Okay, that was it. Work continues. Bye.